Hello guys, you are welcome back to today's tutorial. How are you all doing? So guys, in our today's class, we'll learn how to make this beautiful booboo gown. Yes, and it's beginners eh, friendly. So guys, let's quickly get eh, started. So we have our face in here. You can see how beautiful it is. Let's quickly put it outside. Now, the fabric we have here is a short length, and my client is a very beautiful tall lady. So, what we have here is a total of 46 inches. Okay, remember, is a shoulder we slave together. So, let me quickly fold it properly, okay, for a better understanding. So guys, I'm done folding it. You can see what we have now. So this is the wrong side, making sure it's well placed. So our facing now, I'll quickly put it aside. Now it's into two here. So I have to flip it this way. That is both front and back panel together this way. Okay. So I'll flip it quickly arrange it so when we are done arranging it the next thing to do is to find the length of our bubble yes the length we're working with is 65 inches okay so let's quickly arrange it properly now sorry I'm trying to adjust my camera properly so now that we are through now let me quickly now check the length properly so the length is 65 inches as I said earlier so place it this way move over to the M part to make a mark Okay, so I'll be using that as my face as I said earlier too. So I want to check the neck eh, width. Okay, check the neck width to make sure the neck width of the main uh, bodies, the main gown, as the bubble, aligns with the facing. Okay, so now is to find the neck depth. You can see what we have. Five inches, place it this way. Okay, so the shoulder line, you know, the uh, shoulder will slave. So, what we have here, let me adjust it properly, is 23 inches. But you first place your client shoulder and place your length, you see the same thing. So, if I place it separately, my sleeve length should be 14 inches. Yes, so. When you are through with that, you place your center of where the camera measurement while working on this. But first, we have to place our shoulder slant. Yes. So I just place one inch. Sorry. Place your straight row this way. And half inch blend it to the wrist. So on the wrist uh, area, I'll be adding a band. So you could try to work with a... Uh, Place your measurement this way, the boss point as your sleeve opening. Yes, with the bubble. So your waist, it bend how open you want it to be. So you just to work with your uh, arm all uh, depth. Okay. So if you are working with uh, your arm all uh, boss point, sorry, this way should be. So it should be within the range of eight to fifteen inches. Eight is arm all depth. 10.5 most cases is bust point. 14, 15 is on the bust. I'll be adding a, a band on the wrist part this way. Okay. So this uh, tutorial is very really simple because with this method, you can also make a cow bubble. Yes. So now that I true with that, for the back, that is I should look like just one inch. So, but first, you cut out the back neck depth. That neckline this way, 
you don't call the front. If you call the front, which is the one that is deeper, you definitely going to have front, back, neck, wait, <coughs> excuse me, very deep. So if you are working with the arm hold that you notch, to so mine, I'll be working with the 15 inches. For now, let me quickly trace the neck, uh, uh, sorry, the booboo length. So it's two tier of uh, 65. So this is the M line, okay? So I will cut it out this way. Because it's a short length, so this is how I place it. It's 45 inches length. So I open it up this way now. Open it up this way, you can see. So the neck that we have here uh, is uh, the neck that of the back panel. Remember, the shoulder loop, I haven't uh, uh, cut it open. So for the front, it will look this way. So I'll be deepening my neck. Uh, depth the front so i find the center part by folding it so this is how it should look like so you have to cross check remember i said it's big enough uh, friendly so you mark it this way if you are confused with what you place initially so because you will be placing this as your face so you raise it up this way so you won't cut the back panel as well so you see cut it this way so we're using this as our facing. So the shoulders a slant. So I will quickly now cut it open this way. Okay, I will cut it open this way. So when you stitch, make sure you blend it properly. So this is how it should look like. So this shoulder slant <coughs> was excuse me, because that's a work with an half inch or one inch, okay. And the wrist I just place there, uh, that's on the wrist line, I place a uh, one inch. So slant it to your shoulder this way. So you mark it as well on this other part. This will slant this way. Like what I'm doing, guys, you cut it as well. So remember I said earlier that um, I'll be adding a wrist, a band on my wrist. So yeah, just it this way. Cross checking <laughs> if my <laughs> camera is recording. So this is it. This is very simple, guys. So that is it, guys. So this is the notch for those that are working with the arm hold depth. That's a shoulder divide by two. So now I just have only 13 inches because it's short length of fabric. So I'll be adding up that uh, band on my wrist. I'll be working with uh, two inches. I was that to work with one inch, yes, because I'll be using my tabletop machine to design this uh, sleeve area to the wrist. So that is it. For now, we have to fold our fabric so that we'll cut out our facing and the two inches that we're adding as our band on the wrist. But if you have a full, uh, 60 inches uh, length, of fabric like uh, satin yes just place it and cut it straight okay mine is just short length which is 45 inches there uh, length so you place it this way and what I have is 2.5 inches so as I said earlier be working with two inches or one inch yes You can see I've placed the fabric back okay, for better understanding. Now, make sure you measure it to the length of the uh, uh, your sleeve, uh, round sleeve measurement you're working with. So if you are working with your arm all uh, depth that you should have by two, it should end on the first mark. If it's your bust point, you end there. If it's your uh, under bust, because it's booboo, it should end there. But don't go beyond that. Except uh, you want to expose your bows, or you're putting on an or in our way, so depending on what you want. So the first thing is this way find the wrong side, place it this way. But first, I will quickly pin it for better understanding. So pin it this way. So pin it, patiently pin it. We're stitching with an half inch, OK? 
ओके This is our stitch all round. Flip it in to the right side. Okay. So before I move over to my machine, let me quickly show you guys how it should look like. So this is how it should look like. You see, facing outside facing, not an inside facing because of the design. So we we'll stitch all round at the tip. But before doing this, make sure you give it a very nice press. So for the back um, uh, panel, as I said earlier, I'll be cutting facing as well. So flip it this way as well. So I'm done cutting out the wristband. I'll be adding up because of my short length of the uh, fabric I'm working with. So you place it this way. Uh, place... Sorry, let me introduce the leftover fabric. Okay. So you place your fabric this way because we are now about to cut out the back facing. Okay, but the back facing, I'll be working with inner facing. That means I'll be flipping it in. Okay. So you place it this way. <coughs> Excuse me. It's what I'm doing, guys. Place it this way. Find the weight of the front facing if you want it to align with the back eh, facing. So it's 2.5 inches. So first, I will mark out, you know, I've done hemming the edge of this other one. So I've needed an half inch, yes. So I'll mark it out this way. Okay, the depth of the facing, we start to work with 2 inches. Two three inches, but mine is four inches. Remember, it's a bubble. I want the stitches at least a big visible. Yes, so this will serve as my seam allowance. See, at the end of it, now be having three inches. So place it properly. Sorry, place it properly. Because the neckline is two point five inches. So plus the seam allowance this way. So we have a total of uh, three inches when we are through. So you cut out the neck, uh, uh, run neck uh, this way. Cut out the depth of the uh, facing this way. So you place it this way. Open it up this way, okay? You stitch this way on the right side, okay? Right side facing the right side. So blend it properly okay this way so stitch with that and half inch all around hem it and flip it in okay so let's now quickly now move over to our sewing machine but before then flip it in this way okay i'll be stitching now half inch and show you guys So guys can see we are through. <laughs> yes, I'm over to my tabletop uh, machine table. So you see, so we'll be giving it a very nice press when we are through. So I'm done fixing it. I'll flip it in. So I will top stitch. Okay. Well, before then, advise you use your M gum. Yes, to iron it to make it very easy for you. So the back, I've done it as well. You can see what we have. So the facing is in. So place it this way. So make sure you iron it. Okay, iron it and we'll top stitch. Why top stitching on this upper panel to make sure you maintain a straight uh, stitch a curve this way because it's inner. Okay, so see the stitches I made. So I'll be ironing it. So I'll flip it this way so now it's time to join our shoulder line okay so i'll place it this way okay you see what i'm doing guys stitch show you guys but before then i'll quickly pin it for better understanding so your shoulder to the end part that is your wrist this way with an half inch the same on the other 
shoulder line flip it right side facing the right side pin it this way okay we will stitch as well with an half inch okay to the wrist okay so this is it so you guys can see i'm through top stitching on my facing i've also gone ahead to iron it you can see how beautiful it looks so i've joined the shoulder now is to join this uh, uh, band on the wrist as i said earlier i will be working with 14 inches okay because my beautiful client shoulder to the bust on that bust is 15 inches so place it this way make sure you mark it correctly okay place it this way properly and place the same way 14 inches which i'll be stitching remember with my band as well that the wrist band what we have on the table here yeah? so i said to work like I said earlier i'll be working with one inch or two inches so i said to work with one inch wrist that is a total of 14 inches that is total of into two is 28 inches okay so now place it this way see what we have so i'll cut it open because i've ironed it so i will stitch okay and flip it in if you have overlocking machine you weave it or you top stitch when you are through so this is it now i want to quickly trace it out properly i didn't trace it out properly so i will place it this way okay for better understanding fold it in this way okay see notch to find the center there is center line at the midpoint okay place it this way to fold stitch to your desired uh, sleeve opening okay flip it in top stitch or use your overlocking machine to weave it before you top stitch so I will place it this way okay stitch and show you guys so guys you can see i'm done facing it i've also gonna head to stitch you can see how beautiful it looks so this is it guys so you see the facing by the time you open it up this is how it should uh, look like so now we have to now we you know how valor came and said earlier to weave it all around so it's now time to join our front and back panel together so you place it this way okay see how beautiful it looking already so you place it make sure you place it properly to have a straight uh, booboo okay <coughs> so place it it's a zero of uh, 14 okay so i'll stitch on the 13 inches okay an half inch or one inch but now we're working to one inch to the end line okay if it's a cow booboo towards your knee line you go in okay with 10 inches yes or place it on two two okay as in two foot place your hip measurement at the uh, hip line add uh, your nipple to nipple that is your bust and measurement if it's eight eight out uh, plus your waist uh sorry your hip measurement you connect it straight right from your knee line to your m line okay so let's teach and show you guys so guys we are through you can see how beautiful and simple our bubble gun is it's very really simple guys so make sure you give it a very nice press okay now it's time to hem the m line yes but first you have to make sure you iron it so first i'll fold it in this way but let me click iron it first okay. weave it as you can see i'm done weaving it so i will stitch it around take it to my tabletop machine to design the m line so that is all for this tutorial please if you are new to this channel you can see what i'm doing guys subscribe and um, please if you like this video click on the like button there share comment i love you all i remain your favorite fashion instructor chill living signature bye